Okay, this patient of ours was playing football and he felt he was running and he felt a pop in <clears throat> the back of his leg and he felt like somebody kicked him, which is a common thing patients say. And he, so he came into my office and you can see here he has this little divot in his Achilles here, which is really obvious. And then the test we do is called a Thompson test, which is we do this and we squeeze their calf, and you can see when we squeeze their calf, their ankle does not, the ankle does not plantar flex like this, like it should, which tells you the Achilles is ruptured. So we made our um, skin marking for the incision, which will be just on the medial side of the Achilles tendon. Okay, so we'll make an incision here through skin. A scissor and so we cut through the skin and we will dissect through the tissue and we will get to the peritinon which is the layer over the Achilles tendon itself and we try to protect that layer so we can repair that after we're done repairing the Achilles Okay, good. So here you can see the shiny tissue is the peritinon right here. So now we will incise that peritinon. And this is the peritinon layer right here. See it on either side. And we will try to repair that after we are done repairing the Achilles tendon. And so here, here you can see the obvious rupture of the Achilles tendon, both sides, here and here. So what we'll do is we'll place a, what we call a Krakow stitch, which is a stitch that goes through the proximal segment and the distal segment, and then we'll tie those together. See that scalpel? Watch this quite a little bit. Okay, I'll take this stitch. <clears throat> My personal preference isn't uh, is to not mess too much with this tissue here. Some people will clean all that up, but I like leaving that because it has some healthy properties to it. We'll put this stitch all the way up the Achilles for several centimeters this way and then we'll run it back down the other side and then we'll do the other side of the tendon. Okay. okay, so we put the Krakow stitch through this segment of the Achilles tendon in here, and you can see how I can pull on it hard, and it's very sturdy. So now we will do the same thing on 
this segment here, and then we'll simply tie those two together. Okay, now we have the crack cow stitch in this distal segment here. So what we'll do now is we'll simply tie these two together and we'll always put the ankle in slight plantar flexion, what we call physiologic plantar flexion. Uh, and then we'll tie the limbs. I don't like putting it too far down because that over tightens the Achilles. So we really just wanna uh, restore the physiologic tension of the Achilles. So, okay, you can go ahead and point it. So we'll take either end here. My assistant will approximate the other two ends. side. Okay, so now here you can see the Achilles is repaired. You can see it's a stable repair. I can take the ankle through a range of motion. And so now all we'll do is we will close the peritoneum and then the skin and then we'll put the patient in a splint for a week and have them stay off it, no pressure for one week, and then we'll let them start walking in a boot that has some wedges for another six weeks or so, and then get them out of brace tennis shoe and work on rehabilitation of the uh, Achilles tendon. And uh, usually we'll hold on any real significant athletic activity as far as high impact and cutting activities uh, for at least six months. Okay, so now we've closed the tissue over the Achilles tendon. We will just simply close the skin and that will be it. And that took about 22 minutes. So pretty fast procedure and I would expect him to do very well. <laughs>